Hello everybody, my name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a strategic advisor and today I want to chat with you about creating a culture of belonging. So when I first sat down here and we were working on the shot and talking about the content for this video, Bo Blue Barrington, my MVP at Bianca Bruce company, my most valued pup, jumped up here and made himself comfortable. See, he has no problem understanding and knowing in the depths of his little puppy soul that he belongs. One of the things about belonging that I love so much and fostering a culture of belonging is that if you foster a culture of belonging, it sort of mirrors back to you belonging. So when Bo jumps up and snuggles in and makes himself comfortable because he knows that he belongs, I instantly feel the same. I feel that I belong to him. So it's easy to gloss over that, dismiss it and say, yep, yeah, that's fun to do with a pup. How do you do that with people? In recent studies, looking at global human capital trends, which is a tricky term, and we will cover that some other time. But in recent studies, what they found in the people that they've surveyed is that 93% of the people surveyed said that belonging and creating a culture of belonging will immediately and directly impact a company's profitability and the performance of the people who are part of that company. So belonging impacts performance and profitability. So we need to pay attention to it just from that point of view. But belonging does more than that. A culture of belonging allows for you and your team to feel like there is purpose, that the work they're doing isn't disjointed from the rest of their lives. We live in a world and in an era in this time where connectivity is something we have with each other 24 seven. But connectivity isn't the same thing as belonging. Being able to call somebody, being able to be, to, being able to receive tweets and updates and LinkedIn notifications and instant messages and be updated on every Slack feed is not the same as feeling that you belong. So what increases a culture of belonging? It's knowing your purpose and your place. It's as leaders paying attention to creating an environment where our team members understand that interconnectivity is the frontier in which we all get better together, serve our customer and consumer more intentionally, and are better aligned in our lives with ourselves and one another. Creating a culture of belonging is where we want to start if we want to impact performance and profitability in our companies in 2022. If you want to learn more about creating a culture of belonging, if you want to be curious about creating a team and a company where people feel inspired by the place they're working, I want to support you in making that happen.